Hello guys and welcome to SIDS lab. In this video, I will show you how to desolder components from the board. Let's get started. I have this board right here. It is from an old LED light and uh, it is faulty because as you can see right here, the copper strip is gone and this PCB is not usable anymore. So let's take out all of its component and use it in other one. For this you need a soldering iron, a desolder wick. This desolder wick has RMA flux in it. If you don't have flux, you have to use flux along with it so that it will be easier to desolder. But most of the wicks comes with flux coating so you don't need to worry about it a tweezer so that you can hold things and don't get burned and that's it let's do it now soldering iron is hot enough to be able to use and we are going to take out this diode from here so let's do it let me hold this pcb right here Put the wick on that terminal, hold the PCB right here and put the soldering iron on the wick so that it can absorb all the melting, all of the melting solder from it. Solder is not melting. Yes, here we go. Here we go. All right. Now the other one is right there. Put the wick on it. And here we go. Now you can simply pull out the diode. So here it is, the diode is out. And in this way, you can easily desolder any component from the PCB board. But remember, don't try to pull the components too hard if you will do that you will break the legs of the component and it will be of no use after that let's try something else so let me show you without wick there is another way if you don't have the wick you can still take the components out let me show you that way it's a little bit messy but it works all the time so Let's try pulling out this diode from here. In this method, hold the component and push it down using your tweezers so you won't get burned. And uh, while pushing it down, use your soldering iron to melt the solder and pull the component out. Now the second leg. Here we go. Here's our component. Safe and sound. So that's how there are two methods by using which you can desolder components from old PCBs. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, click on thumbs up. And thanks for watching. Bye bye. Have a good rest of your day.